Hi kids, in this video we will continue with upthrust in fluids, Archimedes principle and flotation from class 9. This is from Conscience Physics. We have already done part A and part B. We look at part C in this video that is flotation. Now, when a body is immersed in water, when a body is immersed in water, then two forces act on it. Yes or no? One is the weight of the body, W, which acts vertically downward, isn't it? Which has a tendency to sink the body. Tendency to sink the body. And there is one more force which we have studied, upthrust, FB, which acts vertically upward through the center of buoyancy through the center of buoyancy and this has a tendency tendency to flow to the body yes or no weight of the body acts vertically downward through center of through center of gravity through center of gravity. We know this, isn't it? And upthrust, the force which acts vertically upward, Fb, is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced, displaced by the body, isn't it? See, in case of water, we can take any liquid, okay? So when a body is immersed in a liquid, there are two forces acting in a body. Weight of the body, which acts vertically downward through the center of gravity and it has a tendency to sink. And there is one more force, Fb, which is known as upthrust, which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body. And that acts vertically upward through the center of buoyancy and which has the tendency to float the body. Look at this diagram. Suppose... This is a liquid and a body is immersed in water. It floats with a portion of it inside water and a portion of it outside water. Now, suppose this is center of gravity. Then the weight of the body acts downward through the center of gravity. And suppose over here B in the same line, okay, this is B, this is center of buoyancy through which up thrust acts vertically upward, yes or no? And weight of the body, W, weight of the body is equal to volume of the body, isn't it? Volume of the body into density of the body into g weight is what mass into gravity mass is what volume into density of the body and up thrust what is up thrust fb weight of the liquid displaced weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged by the submerged part of the body. Yes or no? This we have already done. Now, one thing. When is the upthrust maximum? When the body is completely immersed in water? When the body is? When the body is completely immersed in the liquid, in the water, I'm saying, in the liquid, their up thrust is maximum Fb dash. Yes or no? When the body is completely immersed in water, then the up thrust which acts on a body vertically upward is maximum, which I've represented as Fb dash. Now, there can be three cases over here. 
See, try to understand. FB dash can be FB dash the maximum up thrust when the body is completely immersed in water can be greater than the weight of the body. It can be equal to the weight of the body and it can be less than the weight of the body. These three cases can arrive and depending on how the maximum up thrust you know uh, is greater than or equal to or less than the weight the body the the body may sink you know or float in the liquid depending on the value of up thrust as compared to the weight of the body we'll see it one by one in detail we'll see it what happens when the maximum up thrust is less than the weight of the body you know it sinks we'll see in detail sink when when the up thrust is greater than or equal to the weight of the body then it floats let us discuss these three cases in detail now let us consider these three cases case one i've written when the weight of the body is greater than the maximum up thrust then what happens the body sinks okay suppose this is your body the weight of the body acts vertically downward and up thrust fb dash acts vertically upward okay and in this case if you take a spring balance and you need to measure the apparent or the weight of the body in water then the apparent weight of the body will be equal to w minus fb dash and in this scenario was what happens the density of the solid is greater than the density of the liquid in which it is kept done case 2 case 2 have taken when the weight of the body is equal to the up thrust maximum up thrust then what happens the body floats just below the surface of the liquid just below the surface of the liquid which means if i draw the diagram i'll get something like this okay in this case also if you look carefully the weight of the body acts downward and the up thrust fb dash acts vertically upward and in this case what happened the apparent weight of the body since both are equal so apparent weight of the body which means the weight of the body inside water apparent weight of the body will be zero why because w and F, fb dash are equal and in this case the density of the solid is equal to the density of the liquid okay i hope this is clear now case three when the weight of the body is less than the up thrust then what happens then also the body floats with a portion of it submerged submerged inside the liquid which means if i draw the diagram look over here carefully this is your liquid okay so what happens a portion of the body is above water and the portion of the body is below water then through center of gravity g the weight acts downward and in this case the center of buoyancy is just vertically below the center of gravity and from there the up thrust acts vertically upward and in this case in this case the weight of the body the weight of the body the weight of the body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced displaced 
by the submerged part of the body only that much of the body is submerged in, inside water where the weight of the body becomes equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body which indirectly means in this scenario just look over here in this case I can say that weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body is nothing but up thrust F B dash is equal to weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body yes or no which means the apparent weight of the body in this case also will come zero apparent weight apparent weight of the body will become zero and the up thrust is due to the portion of the body which is submerged inside water a water no any liquid am i clear so from here when we study these three cases and in this case you know of course the density of the solid is less than the density of the liquid and after the discussion of these three things we come to the principle of flotation which states that when a body is immersed in water then the weight of the body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body and that is the principle of flotation clear now let us see the relation between volume of the submerged part of a floating body the densities of liquid and the body now just now we did the principle of flotation that the weight of a floating body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the liquid by the submerged part of the body which means now look if I take capital V as the volume of the body small v as the volume of the submerged part of the body or you can say volume of liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body isn't it both the same rho s density of the solid and rho l density of the liquid in which it is kept now the weight of the body w will be equal to volume into density of the body into acceleration due to gravity g that and what will be the weight of the liquid displaced that will be up thrust and that will be equal to volume of the liquid displaced by the body which is small v density of the liquid rho l into g both will be equal so small v rho l into g is equal to capital V rho s into g g g cancels out so v small v by capital V equals to rho s by rho l and this is your relationship clear or not relation between the submerged part of the body the total volume submerged part total volume density of solid density of liquid now by this relation we can see that we know that the density of the cork you know cork is how much 3 by 4 uh, yeah 3 by 4 gram per centimeter cube now this means that when the cork is placed in water then three fourth of the volume of the cork will be inside water and one fourth will be outside density of ice is 0 0.9 gram per centimeter cube isn't it density of water is one then when the block of ice is placed in water we can say that 90 percent of that ice will be submerged inside water and only 10 percent will be above water by this relation clear now let us look at some inference which they have given in the book now these two inference they have given 
Now just now we got got that volume of the submerged part by total volume is density of solid by density of liquid. Remember this. Now the first one remember, a floating body of higher density has its more volume submerged inside the liquid and hence experiences higher upthrust than the body of low density. Just now I told you if you take a cork whose density is three by four gram per centimeter cube. Cork density is 3 by 4 gram per centimeter cube and ice density is 0 0.9 gram per centimeter cube. Ice has a density greater than the density of the cork. So when both are placed inside water, this you know 90% of the ice block will be inside water. Over here, three-fourth will be inside water, which means 75%. So the density of ice is more compared to this. So more volume will be inside water. Am I clear? And it will experience more upthrust also. Lens experiences higher, higher upthrust than the body of low density. Second, a body floats in liquid of different densities only and only when the density of the body is less than or equal to the density of the liquid. Just in the starting only we did. If the density is less than the density, if the density of the body is less than density of the solid is less than the density of the liquid or equal, then only the body floats in the liquid. Okay, and the volume of the body submerged, the volume of the body submerged in the liquid will decrease with the increase in the density of the liquid. So if you increase the density of the liquid, then the volume of the Submerged portion will decrease. See, by this relation, we can say the volume of the body submerged in the liquid will decrease with the increase in the density of the liquid. Those are inversely proportion, you can say. Yes or no? So, in this video, we'll keep it till here. In the next video, we'll see the next portion. Till then, take care and be safe. And if you like the video, do subscribe and share with your friends.